Earlier this year, the guys from the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus joined us prior to their Pittsburgh show. And if you think that's a fun name for a band, try Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. Yep, they're here and Mikey is with them. So Mikey, we are so intrigued by their name, but obviously how they sound too. <laughs> yeah, I'm intrigued too. So I have Greg, I have Alex, Jeremy, and Ben here. They're all a part of Pigeons Playing Ping Pong. So Greg, Please tell me about this name, because I thought we were going to have actual birds here today. <laughs> you know, you, you wouldn't be the first one, too, because back when we used to book the band ourselves, we would yeah. call a venue and say, hey, we're Pigeons playing ping pong. We want to book a show. And they'd say, uh, I'm not sure we could accommodate that. Um, <laughs> let me talk to our special events coordinator. <laughs> and then we'd show up and get funky. Got it. Um, but Jeremy and I met at University of Maryland. We took a psychology class together and learned about this famous psychologist named B.F. Skinner, who actually trained pigeons to peck a ball back and forth. Wow. Uh, it was incredible to learn, and besides all of that, we looked at the name and said, that's fun and funky, just like us. It and is fun. It's, it's, it's memorable, for sure. Okay, and so you have a new album out, and it's, it's, it's I was listening to one of the, the videos online, and it was kind of cool. Somebody was inside of an eyeball. It was <laughs> an interesting sound. Tell me about the new album. Well, uh, we write music constantly. This is our seventh album, and we're uh, already working on more music, and we're just so proud of it. It's got uh, high energy funk songs, it's got rock songs, there's moments of island vibes, but most of all what you're gonna get from our albums and our live shows is danceable music. Yeah. Courtesy of this drummer right here. Okay. He's always keeping the beat moving. Keeping the beat going. Okay, and so Jeremy, I mean you guys are all, you're from Maryland, you're in Pittsburgh for the new year. I mean what's that like and really why Pittsburgh? We love playing here. We've been playing here for um, I think over 10 years and uh, Pittsburgh's always been really good to us. Yeah, that's good. And, and I'm going to ask you about this. Your fan base, they're called the flock. What, what's that all about? I mean, <laughs> our fans are rabid, and we had to almost give them a Did name. Did you say rabid? No, oh, <laughs> rabid. Oh, yeah, rabid. no. It's not all animals. You know, we're humans <laughs> yeah. sometimes, you know. Uh, but they're incredible. Like Jeremy said, we played Pittsburgh 10 years ago, and there were about 25 people in the crowd, first time in town. And they said, listen, Pittsburgh's gonna love this. Don't judge this book by the cover tonight. Mm -hmm. Keep coming back. And we've somehow continued to play, work up the ranks, and now we're playing to 2,500 people. And uh, that's just been incredible to see the Pittsburgh flock grow. And we're fortunate to see that nationwide as we uh, go from town to town. Yeah, okay, and so Alex, the group is changing right now. I mean, I think it's, someone's having a baby. Is that true? Yeah. How, okay, yeah, tell me about that. <laughs> Well, Mikey, um, me and my wife are having a baby. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. But I mean, I mean, does that kind of change the dynamics? So you feel like you all are just growing up, right, of the band? Well, I can tell you this. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy has a kid. Ben's got a come on come, and I have a second on the way. So this is new for you. Yes, yes, yes. It's <laughs> uh, another uh, new journey in this uh, great thing we call life. Yeah, and the interesting thing is, is that once you guys got to Pittsburgh, who all went to the aviary? And it, it, it made me laugh because pigeons playing pigeons? Did you? Uh, we saw, um, I forget the name of it, but it looked basically like a tiny peacock that had the feathers on its head. Yeah. Um, it was strutting its stuff, and uh, we had a good time. I went with our uh, tour manager, and um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right, one last question for you, Greg. So people will come out to the concert you guys are playing at Stage AE tonight and tomorrow. What can they expect? All of our shows are incredibly high energy. We just yeah. leave it all out on there, especially after the past few years. Like we play every show like it's the last one on earth. Yeah. So you're going to get a ton of enthusiasm. We got balloons in the ceiling. <gasps> our friends, the Magic Beans, are opening the show, and we love to collaborate with them. So I think we'll have some special sit-ins on stage and maybe new songs, new covers. It's going to be wild. Yeah. So if they're not watching here, they should come enjoy it with us at Stage AE. All right, you guys are so much fun. Congratulations on everything that's happening, and I can't wait to hear how the concert goes. Tickets are available at the Stage AE box office, or for more information, go to our website. We'll have a link for you there. All right, Heather, we these guys are fun. They are so much fun, and we learned a lot from that interview. Thanks, guys, yeah. for coming in. Thanks to Mikey, Thanks. too. Coming up, what was your favorite moment of the week here on PTL? We're looking back on some of the fun that we had. to meet Donnie, our PTL pup. You're running out of time. He heads to the next phase of his training in just over a month. He's here to look back on his 2022 just ahead. And speaking of 2022, we hope it can end without rain. Mary's in next to tell us if first night will be a wet night. We hope the ball is the only thing dropping. We want the raindrops to stay away. We'll be right back.